Hello and welcome to Math 231 Calculus 1. I'm your instructor, Linda Green, and in this video I'm going to tell you how this course will be structured. We'll have four main units or topics in this course. Limits, derivatives, applications of derivatives, and integration. In addition to myself, the instructor, we'll have three grad students who will be TAs for this class. They are Frayne Sezunik, Andreas Quist, and Michael Facci. They'll be leading the recitations on Thursday and also answering questions on our forum Piazza and grading some of the assignments. I also expect to have between two and four undergraduate learning assistants, or ULAs, who come to class every day and help you work through problems. I'll introduce them to you during class. Here's how the class is structured. We have lecture three times a week, that's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and recitation in smaller groups on Thursdays. Before each Monday, Wednesday, Friday lecture, please check Sakai for instructions. You can find them on the week by week tabs on the left side of Sakai. The instructions will generally tell you to watch a short video or two and do a short before class assignment, two or three questions on my lab math our online homework system. During class, you may want to take notes using the skeleton notes that I post in advance on Sakai. I'll alternate periods of time in which I lecture, maybe working out an example myself, with periods of time during which I ask you to work problems or discuss concept questions with the other students at your table. Sometimes I'll ask you clicker questions using learning catalytics which is built into my lab math. You can access it on your phone or your laptop. Lecture is also a good time for you to ask questions about things that you and other students are confused about. After class is a good time to check Sakai for the filled in notes. I'll post everything that I write down on my iPad. I also encourage you to read the book. There are a lot of good examples and information in there that I don't have time to talk about during class. There'll be a homework problem set for every section of the book, so usually two or three homework assignments each week. And after class is also a good time for you to attend office hours and ask questions on our forum, Piazza. During recitation on Thursdays, the TAs will start out by working maybe one example or giving you some tips on the current material. Most of the time, however, will be time for you to work problems in groups. We'll have a short quiz most every week. Some weeks it may happen during recitation. Other weeks it may be online using Gradescope. Quiz topics and format will be announced ahead of time on Sakai and in class. There are a lot of ways to get help for this class. Some of you may be interested in signing up for Math 231L. This is a one credit pass fail class that offers review of algebra and pre-calculus and extra practice on some of the more difficult topics in Calculus 1. There's also a weekly Math Plus study group run by the Learning Center. Math Plus gives additional instruction on Calculus 1 topics, more opportunities for practice, and general study tips for success in a math class. Another way to get help for this class is by attending office hours. I expect to have office hours at least three, probably four days a week. Those will be posted on the syllabus and on Piazza. But you can also go to the office hours of any Math 231 instructor. And there'll be a list on Piazza of everyone's office hours and location. The TAs and ULAs may possibly also have office hours to be determined. There are several kinds of tutoring offered for Math 231. The Math Help Center, located in Phillips Hall, has drop-in free tutoring five days a week and possibly some online tutoring on Saturdays. There's also peer tutoring run by the Learning Center. This usually takes place in Dye Hall on Tuesday and Wednesday evenings on a drop-in basis or by appointment on other days of the week. This peer tutoring is also a free service. Finally, the math department maintains on its website 
a private tutor list, which includes grad students, many of whom have worked with this class, TA'd for Math 231 in the past. So the private tutor list is a paid tutor list. I also encourage you to form your own study groups with your classmates using group me or conversations in class or in recitation to organize yourselves. More information and links to some of these support classes and tutoring services is on the syllabus, which is posted on Sakai. I want to be clear about what sorts of resources are permitted for what sorts of assignments. For formative assignments, like homework, in-class problems, recitation problems, and before-class assignments, while you're still grappling with and learning the material, you're welcome to use books and calculators. You're also welcome to use computational engines like Wolfram Alpha for the purpose of checking your answers and troubleshooting your mistakes. Please don't use computational engines to actually do the problems for you. In order to learn the material, you need to work the problems through yourself and save any tools like Wolfram Alpha for a check at the end. Collaboration with other students is permitted and encouraged on these kinds of assignments, but collaboration should always benefit the learning of all involved. So if you're simply copying or trading answers, that would be a violation of the honor code. For summative assessments, like quizzes and tests, where you ideally have already learned the material and are showing what you know, a lot fewer resources are allowed on these assignments. Collaboration is not allowed on quizzes or tests, and in general, these assignments will be closed book and closed notes unless otherwise specified. Calculators will not be allowed on quizzes and tests or the final exam unless otherwise specified. If you're ever in doubt about what's permitted on an assignment, please ask. You can ask during office hours, in class, on piazza, or even during a quiz or test. You can ask the, myself or the TA who's proctoring. You can find more information about the class on the syllabus posted on Sakai. If you have questions, please post them on Piazza or bring them to the first day of class. I'm looking forward to seeing you on Monday, January 10th.